Hello, my name is Freddy's Garcia. I'm the senior sales engineer here at Happy Fox, and today we're going to discuss Assist AI for Slack. Now we'll start off with an overview of Assist AI. We'll then move into the installation to show you how easy it is to install and set up. And last but not least, you'll be able to experience Assist AI firsthand in a demo. So before we get started, what is Assist AI? So Assist AI is a self-serve AI-led employee support platform that'll help answer common questions, allow employees to raise requests for additional support, and so much more all directly within Slack. Now, this is a quote directly from our founder, Shalin Jane. So we believe up to 60% of our frequently asked questions can be deflected by smart conversation powered by AI technologies. So here at Happy Fox, Assist AI is AI powered and the primary goal is to deflect tickets. So ticket deflection can help uh, take away that manual work of answering frequently asked questions and automating it by letting Assist AI provide the answers. So have you ever experienced several employees ask the same questions? So for example, how do I reset my password? I'm sure that's a common one. What if there is a knowledge base article already and with the answer? So this is where Assist AI can save you that time and resource by answering those questions that are incoming. And then the other aspect is conversational ticketing. So another layer to Assist AI is that conversational ticketing, which allows for those questions that require additional support the employees can create a ticket directly to a department for a smoother resolution experience. And we'll show you this live during the demo. We'll now move into the installation phase. We'll start off with the easy installation. So once you land on our page here, you can install the free version of Assist AI by clicking add to Slack. We'll just need to confirm some permissions. You'll select allow. And then from here, Assist AI would be connected. We'll now show you Assist AI in action. So on the screen, we have Acme Company. In this instance of Slack, we have an employee of Chris Smith. Chris is the employee and he's going to be asking questions directly to Assist AI. I'll show you a IT use case as well as some HR use cases. Now we'll start off with having Chris select Ask Assist AI a question. From here, it'll take us to the messages where we can ask Assist AI a question directly. So we'll say, I forgot my password. So in an IT use case, and this happens on a day-to-day -day basis, individuals forget their passwords, they might raise a request to IT directly or ask a question. In this case, they can go to Assist AI, ask that question directly, and if you have an article that is really relevant to resetting this password, you'll notice Assist AI gave us a response based off of my knowledge bases, and it gave us instructions on how to reset our password. In this case, this is a ticket that has been deflected, no additional action is needed, so here we can mark this as helpful. So by marking this as helpful, uh, Assist AI does learn and take this feedback into account. So this way we're understanding that the questions that are being asked and the articles that are being presented are relevant. And we'll go into a use case where let's say an HR, if somebody has to do an employment verification or just verify an employee. Um, now Chris is going to ask the same question or a different question and see how Assist AI responds. Now you'll notice that because we don't have an employment verification article, the feedback here is that we don't have an article for it yet. You can report this content as missing, so this way the administrators of Assist AI are notified that maybe there is uh, an article that should be added into Assist AI. But then the user here can also uh, create a ticket. So you notice that we've made the we made the note of the feedback of the employment verification portion. So then in this case, we're just going to go ahead and create a ticket. If you have Assist AI uh, for, for the help desk, so within Happy Fox help desk, you would be able to set your own category. So what team did you want to submit this request to? And you can create some subfields as well. So this is available for the Happy Fox uh, Assist AI with uh, the help desk portion. So in this case, we're going to do an employment verification, which will bring a series of additional drop down items in here. So we can say these are the individual that we're going to be employment verification this is the submission and we'll go ahead and submit the ticket okay so the ticket's been submitted now now that this ticket has been submitted uh, this is the conversational aspect of happy fox so the conversational aspect is only available in the upgraded plan so the free plan would allow you to ask a question and get the answer but if you would like to upgrade then that part is going to have the conversational ticketing whereas the ticket has been created. Now, and the end user, which is going to be your agent, can handle this request and they can have a back and forth conversation directly from Assist AI. 
So if an agent picks up the ticket, they can say they can respond back and you'll notice this behavior in a moment. You'll notice we have a new reply in this thread. So if I open up the thread, we have a response from Freddy's Garcia and he said I can help. So now we can have a back and forth conversation between the agent and the employee. And there you go. We have confirmation that the employment verification has been processed. So we'll go ahead and um, just acknowledge the request. Excellent. And this is how we can have the back and forth conversational ticketing aspect. And we've marked the ticket or the agent has marked the ticket as closed. So we also get the confirmation that the ticket has been closed out. Now we'll move over into the direct channel. So if you're uh, speaking to somebody directly or if you're in a channel, let's say there's a back and forth conversation and you needed additional assistance here, you can at mention assist AI as well and you can create a, a or ask assist AI directly from a channel. So it doesn't necessarily have to be directly to the assist AI bot. You can come in here, you can say assist AI, how do I change my benefits? This is a, as a, a HR use case. And here we have more feedback on how benefits can be changed. So you'll notice that the Assist AI bot gave us uh, answer feedback directly from here. We can either mark this as helpful or we can go ahead and create a ticket. This is a second ticket that has been deflected, so we'll mark this as helpful. And this is how you'll notice that we can uh, limit the total number of requests that are being sent over to our department employees or our department agents because Assist AI is taking on these uh, answers or providing these answers. Now with the conversational ticketing piece as well, uh, you'll notice we have uh, a UI directly on here where users can go, they can uh, see what their open tickets are, it makes it easy for them to view the ticket status, they can add replies to this ticket, they can even mark their own tickets as closed. So we try to make it as easy for an employee to create, update, and close tickets all directly from Assist AI. And this is Assist AI. In order to download the free plan, just follow the site in the previously mentioned. And then keep in mind the conversational ticketing piece is an, an add-on that you'd be able to upgrade to. So speak to your account executive if you have more information about the pricing for the, the add-on there. But let us know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for listening in today. I hope you have a great day.